You've got temporalis above the zygomatic arch, masseter below it. In the lateral bottom part of the jaw, you've got digastric on each side. You've got this thin flap that's mylohyoid. Underneath mylohyoid, when I reflect it, you have geniohyoid. Now, if we move down here, there's the hyoid bone under my probe. Uh, and going straight down the middle from the hyoid bone all the way down to the sternum, where it's disappearing under here, but it goes all the way to the sternum, is sternohyoid. Yep, right in the middle. It's, it's cut, but it's still one continuous muscle. So then if you move laterally, going down from the hyoid bone to this thyroid cartilage right here, you have this muscle. That is thyrohyoid. You're welcome. See you. All right, and then below the thyroid cartilage, going all the way down to the sternum, you have sternothyroid. And now we have the uh, our forelimb muscles. So this is called claviobrachialis. You don't need to know the name, you just need to know that it's in the way. So if you peel it back, you can find biceps brachii right here with the flag in it and also the probe. Mm -hmm. So going back onto this towards the scapula you have this thin superficial muscle that is called a chromiotrapezius mm -hmm. so it before i started hacking away at the connective tissue it used to attach right here this is called the acromion it's part of the scapula so the other muscle coming off the acromion that you care about is a chromiodeltoid which is this one that heads down from the acromion of the scapula down onto the forelimb mm -hmm. And so next to it, behind it, and if you trail back from the acromion, there's a bony process on the scapula called the spine of scapula. And the muscle that is right next to a chromio, uh, deltoid is spinodeltoid, and it attaches to that spine of the scapula right here. And now, if I pull back uh, a chromiotrapezius a bit, then you've got these two muscles on either side of the spine of scapula, directly mm -hmm. on the scapula. So this one up here that's above the spine is supraspinatus. The one below the spine is infraspinatus. And then this huge muscle that, I haven't removed the connective tissue, but it goes back along this way, starts over here, latissimus dorsi. And, oh yeah, I skipped the triceps brachii, right here, big, can't miss them. There's two um, of them on the outside, right? but you can see four, three. Um, I think these are the three heads, so one here, one here, and one here. Okay. And then you can't really see in here, but like if you were to feel inside this muscle that's right on the surface, it's kind of flat, not subscapularis, and as I push my fingers deeper, there's a bulge in the muscle, and it's been frozen enough that I haven't been able to really get at the connective tissue yet to separate them, but this bulging muscle that is the uh, serratus ventralis that attaches the uh, scapula to the ribs. The yeah. Yep. Yeah, All right. Seen that in our cat. So we're going to move back and go over the back straps. So we've got multipedis, which is this one that's just directly against the vertebrae and deepest in. And then spinalis used to be attached to the tops of the vertebrae, but I cut that connective tissue away to reveal multipedis. And that's this one right here. I lost my probe. Uh, <laughs> This is, oh, okay, you are wearing gloves. I was like, please don't touch that without gloves. It is covered in blood. <laughs> uh, this is longissimus right here. This one just above uh, spinalis or uh, lateral to uh, spinalis. And then iliocostalis is this one. And then going to the hind legs, we've got this long, thin strap muscle. That's sartorius right here. And then right in here you see this muscle and it just kind of disappears into this connective tissue mm -hmm. okay, that's so tensor fascia lata and now this big one right here is one of the quadriceps fastus lateralis and going back up onto the butt of the cat we've got gluteus medius which is the cat's big ass muscle and then <laughs> gluteus maximus which is the small ass muscle and then this one back here cauto femoralis attaches the tail to the femur and then this uh this one right here that's pinned on the lower leg it's the only lower uh 
limb muscle you need to know tibialis cranialis is that all the muscles we need to know? Nope, there's more. Oh. They're just on this one. Nope, this there's one, more. Yeah, I could not <laughs> unstick this leg. Yes. Oh wait, there's so, more. This one was the best one to get the hamstrings in. So here we've got biceps femoris, which is this most lateral one, mm -hmm. which I guess you could see on that one, but it's not separated very nicely. So this one that I'm holding. This next one I'm holding is semi-tendinosis. See how it's long and kind of thin like a mm -hmm. tendon? This big, most medial muscle here is gracilis. You can see it on the side with a big cut in it. And then if I pull semi-tendinosis out of the way and kind of open up the leg a bit, move gracilis out of the way, this should be semi-membranosis. It's just still frozen. So I haven't really been able to get the connective tissue mm -hmm. apart as nicely as I would like, but it's in there. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's everything that we've gotten pinned and like dissected out on the cats so far for these guys. Mm -hmm.